What's up coaches? I hope you guys found my last video about warming up your cold market useful. So now that you're working on that on a regular basis, reaching out to your cold market and still continuing to talk to your warm market, you're probably wondering, how do I keep track of all these people that I'm reaching out to all the time? Because if you're doing this right, you should be reaching out to you know, 10, 15, 20 new people on a daily basis. But that doesn't mean that you're going to invite that many people to a challenge group on a daily basis. Maybe one day you will. That would be awesome. But you're just making the connection. Well, when you're reaching out to that many people per week and then again per month, you have to have a pretty solid system for keeping track of all of the people, who they are, what type of conversation you had with them, so on and so forth, so that you know when you reach back out to them what to talk about. Because you don't want to sound impersonal when you reach out to somebody to talk about something pretty personal like their fitness and their health. So there's a few different things that you can do and it really boils down to what works best for you. Some of the processes or some of the tools that I'm going to discuss and show you um, can be pretty easy. Some of them can be a little bit more time consuming and it really depends on what fits into your schedule and what's more your style. The general idea is when you reach out to somebody, when you're doing what we call forming um, in the conversation, that's when you're gathering information about you know, their personal life, their family, their occupation, what they do for recreation, what their children are like, how their general day is, do they like their boss? You know, These are questions that you may not be asking people when you are talking to them, but in the long run, especially when you transition to talking to people about doing Beachbody as a, as a business opportunity, knowing those little bits about their personal life and their everyday work life can be a nice tool for you. And they start to give you excuses as to why it's not a good thing for them. So you can either take an excuse and say, okay, okay, I'm sorry to bother you. Or you can take an excuse, refer to your notes about that individual and say, I understand your feelings about that. But I remember in a conversation we had previously, you did mention that such and such and such and such. If I could give you an opportunity that, and then provide something that gives them a better opportunity than what they're currently in, it's really hard for somebody to deny something that came out of their own mouth let alone to back away from it because those are emotional things that they shared with you. So before I go any further, very important that when you are talking to prospects, when you're talking to new people, count everything that they tell you as gold. Everything they tell you is just like when you say, um, and I'm not saying that you know these people are criminals and, and to use what, the, what law enforcement uses, but anything you say can and will be used against you. And I'm not saying that you're using it against them, but anything that they tell you can be brought up later in a conversation so that you can turn a losing sales opportunity into a winning sales opportunity. And as coaches, yes, we're not salespeople, but eventually we do have to have that conversation. And it's no use to you to spend all this time and effort getting to know somebody and lead them toward the eventual goal of getting them into a challenge group if you're not gonna seal the deal, right? So what are, what are the important things that you should know? You should make sure that you know their name. You should know when their birthday is. You should know what their current situation is with their fitness. You should know things that they've tried in the past that may not have worked. You know, whether it's different nutritional plans, different uh, gadgets, different gimmicks, different classes, different programs, whatever it may be, just whatever it is in their mind that they think this didn't work. So maybe this speech body thing won't work either. Um, you should know what their goals are. Where do they want to eventually be? And again, you should know what type of family life do they have? How many children do they have? Are they married? Are they single? Do they have roommates? Do they live by themselves? Are they working? If they do work, how many hours do they work? Are they allowed a break at work? If they are, how long is that break? All very important things, especially when you start talking to them about Shakeology and how easy it fits into a busy work day. Now, one of the things that I did when I first started out doing this sort of kind of keeping track of people 
is very simply just keep a postcard system. So if you go to the store, you can go to the dollar store or whatever, Office Max or uh, Staples, and you can get a, uh, a packet of note cards. You know, we've all used them when we were studying for exams for flashcards, right? When you're having a conversation with somebody, you can either write into the flashcard or the postcard or whatever you want to call it right then and there. Or what I like to do is when I'm having conversations on Facebook, obviously that keeps an ongoing record of all the things that we talk about. And then I transfer that stuff into a card. So then you can get a box, which is a card holder. They actually make boxes for organizing these cards and you can alphabetize them. So as you get people on a continued basis and you have these conversations, you put them back into the box based on their name, or you can put them in the box based on the date that you spoke to them. Why is that important? So you're gonna write the date at the top of the card as well, and you're gonna, and that date is gonna change. So as you continue to talk to that individual, every time you talk to them, you're gonna change the date so that you know, when was the last time I spoke to this person? And the last thing that you need to make sure that you put on that card if, any, if not anything else, you need to make sure that you put, during this last conversation that you had, what was the most important thing or things that they told you or that you discovered that you can bring back up in conversation the next time you talk to them. So maybe you're talking to them and they tell you that they have a wedding coming up. Or maybe they tell you that they have a race coming up or there's a contest at work for a Biggest Loser competition, but it's not for a little ways away. Those are important things to know because as you get closer to that date, you wanna follow up with them to find out, hey, have you figured out what you're gonna do for that? And chances are they haven't. That's when you save the day for them and you supply that solution. Now you can do the same thing with Excel. You can do the same thing with Evernote, which I find works really well. Um, and if you don't know what Evernote is, it's a free app that you can get for your Android or your iPhone. You can get it in the App Store. And it is probably the best and most robust and easy to use note taking application out there. I've used a lot of different ones and this one has just been so helpful. Um, and it's also available on your computer. So anything that you do on your phone or your iPad or your tablet, will be mirrored onto your computer. So you can pull up your notes anywhere you are, which is really, really great. If you happen to have one of those smart watches, like the Pebble or the iWatch, it'll also work on there too. So it's a really, really great tool to you know check out and just get familiar with. I make all my notes now in Evernote and you know if I need to go shopping, I make my shopping list. If, if for, for the 21 day fix, I make my, um, my portion plan on there with check marks so that as I eat my portions, I check them off and at the end of the day, I know that I had the right portions. Really, really, really helpful. So the bottom line is when you're talking to people, you want to get as much information as you can, record that information and keep some sort of system, whether it be physical or virtual, that reminds you that you constantly check on a daily basis. And this is important. You have to check on it on a daily basis to see, am I due to talk to somebody? So how often do you talk to people? That depends. So if you're speaking to somebody and you know, they have a pretty, you know, pretty drastic deadline coming up, something that's urgent for them, then you may want to follow up with them quicker. So let's say you have a conversation with them and some, for some reason that conversation has to end. They have to go to a meeting or you know, it's just late in the day and they have to go. Let them know at the end of the conversation, hey, can I follow up with you tomorrow? And if they say yes, write that down and make sure that you follow up, follow up with them. Little note, we all have smartphones. Set a reminder on your smartphone to follow up with that person. That's another really great thing that you could do and you can do that with everybody. So as you go through your card system or whatever you have, just set reminders to follow up one hour before, two hours before, one day before to follow up with whoever it is. And you can put notes at the bottom of your reminders that tell you, you know, the important details that you need to have. So use the technology that you have available to you because guess what? We always have our phones on us and we're always playing around with them. So might as well start using them for something useful. I know I talked about a lot of things. Please, if you have any questions, put the comments below. 
I'd be more than happy to help you guys. You guys are doing awesome. It's to push for the end of the month. Who's making Success Club? Who's not? We're going to have to wait and see, but I hope you all are pushing for it. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next time.